Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The uh, uh, next part we are going to describe in this model is the fourth part. This is the part of the large intestine and in this part you can see this is the epithelium and the dis difference between the large intestine and small intestine is that in small intestine villi are present and in case of large intestine the epithelium, the surface epithelium over here show no villi or projection, it is a straight and it dips inside to form the intestinal glands as well. Beneath epithelium there is lamina propria, then muscularis mucosi, then submucosa and the mus uh, muscularis externa. Muscularis externa consists of the two layers, the inner circularly arranged smooth muscle layer which is shown over here and the outer longitudinal arranged smooth muscle layer which is shown over here in this section. And uh, this uh, longitudinal smooth muscle layer is uh, at certain places it is thicken and it is organized to form the tinea coli. So outer to this is the serosa which is the loose connective tissue covered by the mesothelium. Next is the different types of the cells which are present in different parts of the tubular part of the GIT. So first is esophagus, the epithelium is the stratified squamous non-keratinized and this is the gland which is esophageal gland proper and this esophageal gland proper is the tubular alveolar type of the gland which is mucus secreting in nature. Second part is the uh, stomach and in which you can see the typical gastric gland is present over here and this typical gastric gland show the large number of the parietal cells. This is the section of the parietal cell in which you can see the tubul uh, tubulo alveolar system which is present in parietal cell. These are large eosinophilic cells which can be easily seen on light microscopy. In between these cells are the next mucus neck cells are present and you can see also the section of mucus neck cell over here and the chief cells which are present at the basis of the gland and this is the section of the chief cell. Third part is the small intestine, this is the typical gastric gland or intestine, sorry, intestinal gland which is present in small intestine and in this intestinal gland you can see the uh, goblet cells and the columnar cells which are present over here. So goblet cells containing large number of the uh, mucus secretion, mucus secreting granules present in it and the fourth part is the large intestine and this part contains the typical uh, gland which is present intestinal gland it contains large number of the goblet cells the columnar to goblet cells ratio changes over here and it becomes almost to 2 is to 1 2 columnar cell to 1 goblet cell over here and uh, some entero endocrine cells may be present <coughs> over here you cannot appreciate these entero endocrine cells on light microscopy this is the section of the goblet cells. You can see the uh, mucinogen granules present in the apical part of the cytoplasm and basally located nucleus. Also the simple columnar cell which is present over here showing the microvilli. So this is the whole model of the GIT which you have uh, seen in two sections. Thank you so much for your attention and Allah Hafiz till the next class.